Okay, so in the previous video we did four simple examples with reference angles, uh, so now we're going to start doing some more complicated ones. So example five, uh, find the reference angle for 233 degrees. Okay, so this one really isn't uh, a whole lot more complicated, but what's, what is more complicated is that it's not a special nice angle on the unit circle, um, but since it's given to us in degrees, it's actually not going to be that bad. So the first thing we ask ourselves uh, is, is this between zero degrees and 360 degrees? And yeah, it is, right? 233 degrees, obviously that's positive, and obviously it's less than 360 degrees. So it is between zero and 360, so then what we want to do is draw it. Okay, so um, now drawing it might be kind of weird. So this is where it could get a little more complicated, because since it's not a special angle, we can't really consult the unit circle and see where it is. But what we do want to keep in mind is that, okay, zero degrees for angles in standard position, zero degrees would just be right here, okay? Zero degrees would just be right here. 90 degrees is up here, so let's zoom in on this picture. Zero degrees is right here, 90 degrees is up here, uh, 180 degrees is over here, 270 degrees is down here, right? So we do want to keep those in mind. Zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, 360 degrees, okay? So can we isolate the quadrant just based on that? Well, 233 degrees, that's larger than 180 degrees, right? So what we could write down is uh, 180 degrees is less than 233 degrees. Okay, so 180 degrees puts us over here. What was the next one? 270 degrees, okay? And 233 degrees is less than that. So 180 degrees, let's write that better, is less than 233 degrees, which is less than 270 degrees, okay? So one, since 180 degrees is over here, okay, 180 degrees is over here, and uh, 270 degrees is down here, then um, 233 degrees is between those two guys, so 233 degrees has to be in quadrant three, okay, because it's larger than 180, which means it's larger than this angle here, okay, so 180 degrees is this angle, uh, 270 degrees is this angle, 233 degrees is between those guys, so 233 degrees is somewhere in quadrant three, okay, we'll just put it over here, I guess. And again, um, we don't really have to be exact with it, and especially in this case, because it's not a special angle on the unit circle, so we don't have to know exactly where that is uh, to do this problem. We just have to know what quadrant is it in. And we just found out that it's in quadrant 3, because, again, 233 is between 180 and 270, okay? And 180 degrees is over here, 270 degrees is down here, so 233 degrees has to be between them, okay? So somewhere in quadrant 3. So if we're in quadrant 3, how do we get the reference angle? Well, um, let's label this angle also. So this uh, 233 degrees. So remember, in quadrant three, uh, take the entire angle here, subtract off the piece we don't want, which is pi radians, or in this case, 180 degrees. Okay, so what we do is we take 233 degrees and subtract off, probably be easier to write it like this in this case, uh, subtract off 180 degrees. Okay, so if we take... Uh, the entire angle, 233 degrees, subtract off this piece, we'll just be left with this piece, okay? Or in other words, this piece, which is what we want, okay? This is our reference angle, this guy right here, and that's what we want. So take the entire angle, subtract, oops, take the entire angle, subtract off what we don't want, and we'll be left with what we do want. So 233 degrees minus 180 degrees, that's uh, 53 degrees, and that's our answer, okay? So 53 degrees, not a nice special angle, it's kind of a goofy angle, right? 53 degrees. Um, but it is acute, right? It's between zero degrees and 90 degrees, so it, by definition it's acute, and it is what this angle is right here, okay? So this angle right here uh, is 53 degrees, okay? So if this is 233 degrees, this is 53 degrees, this is the reference angle that we were looking for, okay? So that's example five. So it wasn't a whole lot more complicated than the first four we looked at in the previous video. Um, just the only difference is it's not a nice special angle, so we had to think a little more about where it goes. And when you have to do problems like that, just think, okay, how do I bound that between two of these uh, angles on the axes here, right? So between two of those guys. So, and remember those are called quadrantal angles. So uh, 90 degrees is a quadrantal angle. 180 degrees is quadrantal. 270 degrees, that's a quadrantal angle. So if you have to find a reference angle for something like this, try and bound it between two quadrantal angles, meaning two uh, angles that are on the axes there, okay? Okay, so um, that's example five. So some more complicated, other uh, slightly more complicated examples coming up.